thank you for watching. I'm here with Maria Manusova. Uh, it's so finally glad to have you on the show because I, I was trying to catch you or y Eugene and it never happened. I missed him in Hawaii. We just cross over each other and... It's a terrible place to miss each other. I know, I know. <laughs> where he's right now? Where did, where did you <laughs> lost him? Uh, he's in Italy, he's in Cervia right now and I'm here. So we are uh, intercontinental. Okay, gotcha. You. Try, you're, trying, you're trying to cover all angles. Absolutely, <laughs> always. <laughs> What's your impressions from the Millennium this year? Because the Millennium changed the hotel. So any excitement, any emotions? Uh, well, personally, from the yeah. personal experience, uh, Millennium in general is a very emotional competition because we were there for the first one. Like the first the very, ever, the very, yeah, the first I heard one. the first one was like, what, thousand entries or something? It was, I, I'm not sure, we were kids and we were oh. dancing uncontested in like a youth and amateur <laughs> division. And it was uh, old, it was in the clear water. Seriously. Florida, it was wonderful. So it's been an absolute pleasure to be there as competitors, then dance as professionals. Then be able to judge it, do shows, and every like every year, Michael just you know amazes people with his creativity, his warmth, it and it's just uh, amazing. Amazing. What do you, What do you think the theme for the next year should be? Because last year was magic. The, this time is love. Well, I've seen a little bit of the show, so I'm not going to say Ice Age or Jungle. <laughs> which was already said before. Yes, many people said that. Yes. Um, I have no idea because I think he pretty much covered everything and I think we'll all be amazed and surprised next year. Right. Or is Michael looking for new ideas because he's running out? Maybe. You never know. Maybe. Okay. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to know the insight about your show because this is fantastic. My wife, she saw it uh, one more time. She saw it last time. She saw it at the Anchor uh, dance sport competition and it just, she came back home she was blown away I would love to know how how did it start it and is it was hard to get back in shape after you retired well um, the it all started from um, actually a tragedy that happened mm -hmm. because one of our former students and a close friend of our, all the couples who are part of the show he passed away tragically he was in his mid-20s and uh, the number the original number was the rumba it was inspired by the, the events and they all wanted to do it and pay tribute and then um, it was just like a very emotional piece a nice piece and uh, then we had like a few more inspirations and just we put it all together and people wanted to see more and we tried to do more things and it's nice to be able to share floor with other dancers who are much younger and better looking than you oh, so no that way. people Literally, actually don't see that seriously? you're out of shape no, so no, no, getting no, no, back no, no, into no. shape was not a problem <laughs> because they're the show and we're just like you know there but it, it's just an amazing experience no, don't, don't put yourself down yeah I mean, but come it's on. an amazing experience to be able to have uh, competitors competitor couples who yeah. actually compete together yeah. but they're at the same time they work together to create a show because everything that unites us is the love for dance and it's just amazing uh, and you have amazing studio. You have uh, lots of use, uh, lots of you know professionals and so on. How did how did you create this environment? Especially because we know that usually this environment comes from Russia, you know, in in Moscow. And how did you create this e e environment here? Because that's something I think unique for uh, for USA. No, um, I guess so, but. Uh both Eugene and I, basically, we grew up here. We came as kids. Okay. We went through the silver, gold, pre-champ, all the things, you know. So we have, like, American kids. Um, but I think it's not as, you know, strange now because there's a lot of amazing dance schools yes, for true. kids all over the states, on the East Coast, West Coast, the South, everywhere. But I mean, your, I your, think, at, your atmosphere is unique, you know, that's um, what I mean. It's very... Thank you. I saw lots of the videos yeah. inside, I talked to people and they said it's just something which is never... It's I, not I think it's the drive and I think it's the, I don't know, the passion that we have inside, I guess it's, you know, transfers to other people. But uh, thank you. But we have no idea why it is so. But I believe <laughs> it's so because we truly love what we do. I see that you really do. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much. I'm glad thank to have you. you. Say hi to Eugene, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Stay for more news and insights from Millennium Dance Project.